We are back with another amazing video. In today's video, we are going to show you how to change out the sway bar linkage on a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. Make sure you guys are wearing the proper PPE, you know, earplugs, you don't want to go deaf, uh, safety glasses or a face shield, you don't want to lose an eye because that would be very, very bad. And, you know, gloves so you don't beat up your knuckles, uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable and whatever makes you feel safe. Put them bad boys on, okay? Protect yourself. Here's what the 7 8 socket looks like, guys. Now, this is what the sway bar linkage looks like, guys, on a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. We are going to be replacing the driver side and passenger side, front and back, so all four of them. So, this is what the part looks like, guys, just for your reference. Man, I'll tell you what, when things can go wrong, they will go wrong. We had a heck of a time getting these sway bar linkages off. So we had to tear off the boot part right there. You know, you tear it off on all four of them. We had to do this. So we tear that boot part off. Then we grip it with some vice grips. And then it holds it in place as you use your impact to, to loosen it and take it off. Simple as that. But it took us, you know, several minutes to be able to remove the boot part on each of these now I leave things like this in here right here the little things that don't go right I leave them so you guys can see and know that I'm keeping it real with you guys not everything goes right not everything goes as planned you gotta keep pushing and moving forward so you know it only took us about 45 minutes before we figured it out but you're going to need this allen wrench type fitting right here um it'll make your job a hundred times easier use that to keep it from spinning and it'll slide right off again it is an h6 fitting it's an allen wrench type fitting just use this find it you they're fairly cheap um and it will make your job 100 times easier when tightening them back up you might have to grip it with some pliers or vice grips to keep the uh the bolt from spinning so you'd have to grip the rubber piece right there as you can see as it's done right here in the video Just a quick shot of a new one replaced right here and what it'll look like just so you guys have a better idea. Here is another view of us using the vice grips to hold it so you can tighten it down. Just another view from a different angle so you guys kind of get the hint on how to do it. After using the impact, just go back through with a wrench and make sure they're all the way tightened down. Make sure you can't tighten them down anymore. Make sure they're snug. You gotta properly tighten everything. Remember that. I need a grease hit right now. What is this, Sean? It's a grease zerk. Grease fitting. It's a grease fitting. Grease fitting. You gotta grease them, buddy.
showing you here how to set up jacks just to be safe. You want to have more than just your floor jack as uh, safety precautions. Here I am starting the back side, so we are starting on the back passenger side. Remember to be patient and use common sense when doing this job because that will go a long way. Again, this is the back passenger side that we are completing right here. So it is the back passenger side sway bar linkage on a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. Threads got crossed, things got stripped, and this was the end result. We had to grind it off, and it was a, it was definitely a process, and it definitely took a lot longer than we expected, but we had to grind it off, and I wanted to show you what it looks like and how it was done, just so you guys know if you come across the same problems. So here we go. So we had to grind it down so it was smooth enough. After it gets smooth enough, we use a punch and we punch it out, as you will see in the video. But it was definitely a very long process. So we didn't get it grinded down smooth enough and the whole punch doesn't work. So we're going to have to go back, regrind. Uh, a little bit of it make it just a little bit smoother take off some burrs and everything and then the whole punch is gonna work and finally it breaks loose hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here we are pounding the H6 attachment in the top of that back passenger. It, again, you're going to need the H6 attachment for this part. It's a little tricky and it got a little hairy for us, but we got her done. What you gonna do? I'm gonna cut it. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. <laughs> you know? Get tools, hands, fingers, and 
faces out the way. Butter. As he's putting on the last sway bar linkage, why don't you drop a comment down below for your boy and say you made it this far in the video. Let me know you made it this far. It's nice to know people watch the videos, you know. And also, keep a close eye. He's putting on the last sway bar linkage. We use some pretty uh, often awesome uh, extensions to get this last one. Look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Sean is a genius, guys. Awesome. Gets it right, nice and tight. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment. I made it this far. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you. Peace. We're taking down the jacks. Everything is good to go now. Everything is complete. 
Remember guys to be safe and always wear enough personal protective equipment to where you feel safe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you guys have a good day. Thank you. Bye.